What's up, YouTube? It's Pastor Bob. Well, I was informed today that uh, Texas Joe passed away. So uh, I wanted to say a few things to clear up some things uh, for people who are kind of in wonder. I knew Joe on a personal basis. We talked about a lot about God and himself and his family and things that were bothering him. And, you know, those are all personal. I knew that Joe had some uh, health issues. and uh, But Joe wasn't the type of person that really wanted to, you know, tell the world what his issues were. He didn't want to think about it. He didn't want to talk about it. You know, and I think that Joe himself knew that his time was limited. And he just wanted to enjoy it the best he could. And uh, be happy and try to bring some joy to people. And which he did. It's kind of a funny little thing. Um, you're seeing this coin, and I got to tell you this story. <laughs> so in 2021, when the Morgan Silver Dollars were reissued... Um, I could not get this uh, Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar. Now, me and Joe, we were constantly trying to get certain coins, you know, that were hard to get, you know, because there's only so many made. And I, I said, man, I have got to get one. He says, I'm going to get you one. Well, you know, you really don't know people. And you can just take them for face value and say, okay, you know, that's cool. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Well, he calls me up on the phone. He says, I got you a present. <laughs> and I said, what? He goes, yeah, I told you I was going to buy you that Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar because you needed it for your collection. And there it is. And one thing about Joe is he learned a lot from me, too, about coins and coin collecting and what to look for. And and he sent me a really good one. <laughs> he probably had to because he knew I was going to inspect it. But he knew that I was a big Morgan collector and that I've been doing it since I was a little kid. And he felt it was necessary to make sure that I got one. So, And I told him, I said, I'll never sell it unless I really, really have to have the money, Joe. I said, because it was a present, and I just don't do that. It's more a part of my collection of Morgans. So, I have several Morgans in my collection that were given to me by friends. And I'll, if I had to sell them, I'd sell all of them except for the ones that my friends ever gave me. Because there's so, you know, there's a lot of meaning behind it. And uh, especially, you know, a couple other coins in this one. Because they're no longer with us, right? I can't no longer talk to them. I can't no longer, uh, you know, joke on him. And, you know, uh, we used to cut up. <laughs> we used to pick on each other. But he liked it. You know, and and I kind of knew why he liked it, but um, he'll be missed by a lot of people. You know, he, you know, he inspired a lot of people. He helped a lot of people. Uh, he hung out with a lot of different types of people, and uh, he will definitely be missed. And uh, so, I just wanted to make a short little video. Just to say, hey, Joe, I know you made it to heaven. I know that you was a good Christian man. I had a lot of questions that you asked me uh, over the last couple of years that we knew each other. And If anybody's wondering, look, I'm sure he made it to heaven. He paid his dues. He wasn't perfect. He was just another sinner like the rest of us, saved by grace. So... I know he made it home. And uh, I'm not much of a grieving person, maybe because I'm a pastor, you know, and I've seen so much grieving and so much mourning over the years. I try to look at people when they pass away, and I knew them, 
from the happy moments, the good moments, the funny moments, you know. When we used to pull each other's leg and have a good time and bust each other's beans. That's the times that I want to remember. And I'm sure that Joe would have wanted me to remember him that way too. So, anyways, guys, take care. God bless. This is Pastor Bob. I'm out of here. We'll see you.